Hey, what's up guys, Aaron here, and welcome back to a brand new video here today, and we've got our very first look of F1 22 My Team Career Mode, because today they dropped a brand new features trailer, and we're going to kick things off with the My Team icons. Brand new icons are coming to the game. This is in addition to the icons we've already got from F1 2021, but the new My Team icons coming to the game are Jacques Villeneuve, Mark Webber, and Nico Hulkenberg. So, obviously, I think Nico Holbo is going to be quite a fan favourite because, you know, a lot of people did love Hulkenback. He's come back into Formula 1 as of late. Mark Webber, I think, you know, uh, a favourited Aussie driver, you know, infamous number two driver at Red Bull going up against Sebastian Vettel back in the day. So, I think he'll be a welcomed one. And then Jack Villeneuve, I didn't I didn't see that thing. I thought they would maybe do James Hunt or Nicky Loud or something like that. But, no, Jack Villeneuve. Okay, so three new My Team icons are being added added into the career mode. That's on top of, I, I hope, the icons that are returning from F1 2021 because we've not had any info about them being taken out. But now, as you've been seeing on your screen, this is what my team career mode looks like in F1 22. Now, let's get to the elephant in the room. The UI is very, very similar. The, the top of the menus have changed a little bit, but the actual calendar style thing on the left-hand side is very much just a copy and paste job from the last two years, which I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed at but to be fair as well if it's not broke don't fix it I guess is the kind of route I mean there's no other way to really improve on that calendar system I guess it works well you can see the events coming up if we look a little bit deeper though I mean uh, also though I will add I felt like maybe the actual menu itself in terms of where the car is here like on the pedestal I feel like that could have been a little bit different maybe because I mean I like the kind of clean look of it of like of the car being an NHQ but it could have you know I, I don't know there could have been some cool other vistas maybe to work into that but we look in deeper now this is the enhanced improvements to my team career when it comes to the department events in between races so we've got an example some uh, support merch push or concentrate on upcoming race so so we've already been told that these enhanced events will actually now tangibly affect things a bit more and this is kind of what we're getting for the first time now an example of that is that it's a it's affecting actual cash amount that we've got in terms of team balance. So we've our marketing department have come up with a plan to use Piastri to help launch a new range of team merchandises. will net us some good income, but will leave the drivers less time to prepare for the next race. What should we do? So we've clearly signed Oscar Piastri, one of the F2 drivers that will be available in the game. Of course, the game will launch with F2 from last year, and then F1, uh, F2 22 will be in DLC update, as it has been for the last two games. So therefore, Piastri is a selectable driver because he was an F2 last season even though this season he's not an F2 he's just a reserve driver so we can't afford to let uh, Piastri get distracted the merchandise can tell itself so that's with uh, launch without and launch with so you you know how you can have cash if you launch with but the driver pace will be minus five or you can launch without cash up a little bit less though and then the driver pace plus five so a bit more of a tangible call uh, effect from the cause of this department event. I guess previously we may have only just got the driver pace being updated, but if we're nitpicking, it's not too dissimilar from last year. I think last year, like I said, there would have just been one outcome, you know, what one effect, which would have been maybe the cash up or would have been the pace up and down. But now we're getting two of them and you're seeing that di direct correlation in team balance. But that is, I guess, they're kind of, you know, they're wanting to show the first look at the enhanced department events, but I don't know, it does seem a little bit similar and I can't really see how enhanced it has been from last year. We move on though into the hubs for the Vistas for the department events. It is the same as last year, although with the F1 uh, Air 22 car, the generic My Team car, you can see Aerodynamic Spec 3 there, fabrication, build time, quality control, resource point generations are the same, but we move on to personnel. Now in personnel, that is different. We've got simulator, fitness center, analysis suite, and then pit equipment so pit stop performance is slightly improved so of course we've got the manual pit stops on this year's f1 game so now one of the personnel improvements you can make in the hq is going to be that pit crew that pit equipment to try and speed up your pit stop so if you want to try and obviously make the jump bring down that pit stop time from like a i don't know like a 2.9 to a 2.1 this is how you're going to do it in the my team career mode with a personnel hq facility upgrade and that is kind of it. Uh, that was all we got from the F2 Features trailer. I kind of hoped 
that the reason why we didn't get my team in the previous preview build is because the, the, the my team menus and everything kind of looked very different but it looks very similar to last year so i am kind of left a little bit kind of underwhelmed a tad i you know i've got to be completely honest here uh, about it because you know cool yeah we've got those three new icons for my team yeah we have some enhancements pit crew but apart from that there's not, you know, nothing else appears to be changing unless there's, you know, they did do this in F1 2019 where they never announced driver transfers and then we booted up the game and then there were driver transfers. So I don't know, is there going to be more stuff that there's not said or they're yet to show? That might be wishful thinking for me. But right now, what they're showing in the features trailer, that was all the features for my team Karima. There was a lot to show in the features trailer about F1 life and I'll be making a separate video about that. So get subscribed for that later today. But that was it from my team career mode. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. And don't sugarcoat it because I'm very, very curious. Because looking at the response on social media, I think the, the, the question is, was it really needed? Was this really necessary as a game mode? And we know from journalists and others asking Codemasters about this, that the development cycle of this game is on a two-year cycle. So the reason why we've not got a story mode this year is because it's a separate team making it like they made last year and so we'll probably get a story mode in f123 this game has been in the making for two years from the same team or probably half the same team as f1 2020 so really this mode was probably already in development before ea even looked to buy codemasters so it kind of begs the question really the same team that came up with such a great new mode of my team, such innovation, uh, uh, five steps in the right direction, then maybe about only two steps in the right direction with my team improvements on F1 2021. That's the same sort of team that is now, I feel, just taken, well, well stationary step or a step backwards in terms of hardly any major, major headline improvements to F1 My Team Career Mode. And instead, a lot of effort clearly has been put into F1 Life, which, I don't know, I, I think surely a lot of you are going to be in the same mind as me as... Oh, is, is that it? Because I was hoping for a lot more. I was hoping for a bigger step up in my team career that I think we all kind of wanted. If you did enjoy the video and found it informative at least, then be sure to hit the like button. And if you're only around here, like I said, get subscribed for that F1 Life video coming later today in a bit. But um, yeah, that has been it from F1 22 My Team Career Mode. Not a lot to go off kind of left in the dark of if there's more to come I don't know because they, they didn't show the my team icons in the trailer but they announced them in the press release so I don't know if there's you know more things like subtle things like that they're going to show later I don't know but that's been it then for this one hope you enjoy your day goodbye